Of course not. I just make them up as I go. Right. Here with Nate Perlson, Peter Schrager, and the smiley Kyle Brandt. It's Wednesday. We are just three nights away. Hey. Away from Saturday football on NFL Network. It is a doubleheader. We've got you guys all set for that, but it is Whiteboard Wednesday. Let's do it. Let's get to it. You guys can play along at home. Uncap those markers, though. Uh, Saturday, as I said, Redskins taking on the Titans. It is the first half of that doubleheader NFL Saturday night starting at 4.30 p.m. Eastern right here on NFL Network. Titans running back Derrick Henry, he's made a late surge up the NFL rushing leaders list over the past two weeks. If you are on the goal line and it is fourth and one, who's the player that you are looking to hand the rock to? He has, in two weeks, over 400 yards and six touchdowns. Monster! Unbelievable. Any right. player in the league? Yes, on fourth and one. I'm going with a guy who's unstoppable, an absolute beast. True Breeze, baby. Oh, forget about it. You know, it's, it's a it. wrap. Show the move. It's a wrap. It's just, he's going to go over the top like Sylvester Stallone every time he gets close. <laughs> Lincoln Hawk. And, and listen, here it is. We've done a little wiggle right here, but nah, nah, we want to see. You know Come on. He's, he, every time. But hey, he's doing it right here. Don't check him out. Hey, that that is you know what it is? It's, like, it's almost like Dirk Nowitzki. Here it is right here. There it is. There's what we're looking Check for. Check out the vertical. Oh, Signature breeze. move. Yes. 31 inches of pure hops. Is it baby. 31 or 21? <laughs> it might be 17. It works. I said that there. there's the Jordan logo. There should be the Breeze logo of him just... Ooh, that should be on his shoes. How do they not know it's coming? They do, I think. I think like he did against the Bucks. The Bucks were all screaming, and he still does it. Still got it. It's amazing. It I love that time. Uh, It's almost like we could go obvious and say, Zeke Elliott and Saquon. I don't want anyone to forget about Le'Veon Bell. Hey. Le'Veon Bell on the goal line okay. is so good, okay. and I think a lot of teams could use him right now. It is crazy okay. to me that we're going through the entire 2018 season, and Le'Veon Bell is not toting the rock. Let's him. not forget about Le'Veon Bell on the goal line. This guy was a terror to bring down. He's the most patient runner in the league, and if I could choose any running back in all of football, I'm going Le'Veon Bell fourth and goal. I'm yeah. sorry. I know he's not playing this season. I hope he's back in 2019. I love watching this guy play. Mm. It'd be nice if they had him right now. Right? I sure would. Very complicated topic. Um, I got to go with the big guy, though. You mentioned him, the guy who's on fire right now. You got to go. I mean, this dude right here. Oh! I will see your Derrick Henry kick it up about 90 pounds and give it to the big yes. man. A guy wearing number 96, scoring a touchdown. He is going to the Pro Bowl. You know, the Pro Bowl gets a little loose. Maybe they give him a carry in the Pro yeah. Bowl. Everyone wants to compare him to William Perry. William Perry also caught one in the end zone, so Hicks saved that one maybe for a playoff game. I keep oh. Hicks stopping the big man. Come he's on. still running over people. That's right. He made some celebrate with him. All the way to Orlando. <laughs> you guys can send your submissions to hashtag GMFB. I'm looking at some of those right now, and they are hilarious. Play along. How about the second half, guys, of the, the NFL Network's doubleheader on yeah. Saturday? Okay. It's the Ravens. Ravens taking on the Chargers in LA. The most important person in this game outside of Phillip Rivers and Lamar Jackson is who? That's good. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll go. This is an oldie but a goodie here. I'm just going to put it up. My friends at the table know what I mean. This dude, yeah. the pit boss, if you don't know what I mean, that is a now two and a half year old nickname for Joey Bosa, stemming from when he was drafted, shows up to the draft. In a suit that can only be described as it looks like a pit boss. It looks like if he's at the Borgata. There it is. Changing out 100. No cell phones on the table, please. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Free drinks, free drink. That's Bosa. And he has since taken on a different meaning, like in the pit. He is the boss down there, and I can think of nothing better for Lamar than having been chased around by the pit boss. That's the guy, Joey Bosa, the Ohio State University. Watch your hands. Don't touch the money until the cards are dealt. I hate it when you're uh, on your phone. I'm going with Derwin James. Love it. One of the best playmaking DBs in the business. I feel like he's going to have one of those splash plays. He's going to be a big hit ball comes out. He yanks the cord and strips the ball out, or just an old school interception. So he's one of those guys that can change the complexion of the game by what he does. He's not just a guy that can play in coverage, mm. but once he comes on blitz, he is ferocious. So I'm going with Derwin James. And he's very familiar with Lamar Jackson. He played a couple times. He's even sacked him. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to see that re reunification. This game's in LA. It's all Hollywood. It's Saturday. What but, you got? You know, I'm thinking about Staten Island. I'm thinking about Shaolin. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking about the oh, great Shaolin. Shaolin. I'm thinking about the great. People Ooh, from Staten Island. Robert Logius from Staten Island. I love Robert Logius. Richard Richard Eisen, known as Rich Eisen on this network.
Network is a Staten Island native. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gus Edwards, the hey. running back for the That's Baltimore the Ravens. And all this okay. Lamar Jackson fame that we're getting right now, Gus Edwards is yeah. also a rookie, also toting the rock, and also dominating. I think this game is going to be won on the ground by Staten Island's own. Yes, Staten Island. What up, Ashley, Lauren, and makeup and hair? Yeah. Staten Island. We are here for it. I'll tell you what. There are five boroughs in New York, and Staten Island is one of them. This guy's going to be represented on Saturday night in Hollywood. I can't wait. Gus Edwards, you're my guy. Robert Loggia is a legend. I love Bob Loggia. Rich Eisen's a legend. Of course. If he doesn't play piano with Tom Hanks. <laughs> R.I.P. Penny R. I. Marshall. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, classic scene. Classic scene. Yeah, classic scene. Ernest Shirley. Got it. The 49ers are once again playing the spoiler role in December. The show or movie spoiler that would ruin things the most for someone that hasn't seen it yet is what? Oh, there's so many. Um, I gotta think about this one. All right, well, you could say that at the end of uh, The Wizard, um, Super Mario Brothers 3 comes out, that's big. <laughs> at the end of Metroid, she's a woman the whole time, you and never you knew that. Uh, Free Willy K, the whale escapes. Oh, the Michael Jackson. crying game? Oh yeah, I said Sai Ventura too. Um, <laughs> but this is the one that if you were to tell someone how the end of the movie went, Oh my God, their head would spin. I, I'm sorry, guys, but there, there's only one right here. Oh. If you were to tell them, this poor kid, in an inexplicable, wildly inappropriate parental decision, they say, you go take care of old Yeller. Sure enough, the kid, shotgun, bam, it's over. Imagine watching that whole wonderful dog movie. Is knowing, that what happens? The kid boom, the dog? The kid has to grow up, be a man, <laughs> and blow his own dog's brains out in front of everybody. And then they try to bring him one of the puppies, like New Yeller. He's like, I don't want New Yeller. Oh, I miss yeah. old, because yeah, old Yeller was rabid. So they got to put him down, but does the kid really need to shotgun this dog? <laughs> I mean, like, coddle the kid a little bit. Terrible. Old Yeller, right. it's real. <laughs> I'm going with Fight Club. Okay. Oh, what's up, Durden? Okay. What's up, Durden? Like, if you don't know, then, you know, we spoiled it for you. They're basically the same no! guy. Wait, Norton's talking to himself? Yeah, the whole movie. So who's Brad Pitt? It's Norton and Brad Pitt. They're different guys, but they're the same guy. It's kind of like an egg. But who's she in the room with upstairs? That's you know, I'm, the like, question. That's it. Right. Hey, there was this blue chair. Bonham Carter. <laughs> they all have a little Brad Pitt inside of us. That's there, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. All right, hey, what do you got, okay. Peter? There was this blue chip running back at a Crenshaw that was going to be a superstar okay. in college football. And then Doughboy got oh. involved with the wrong people. Really? Really? Should have zag. Should have zigzag. Should have zigzag. It's a uh, great, great. Gotta player. hit the cone drill. Come on now. You know that's the first movie that'll make me cry. That movie. I mean, was there's no I way you can't years. cry. It was a legend. Terrible. Did you see his high school Ter film? Terrible. Mm. Ricky would have ran like a four three forty. He'd still be in the league. Ricky would be in the be league now. Hall of Famer. Sorry, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky had soft hands, crisp oh. routes. Oh. That slow go scene. Forget about oh, it. Man, forget about it. Spider Y two banana for Ricky. Yeah. Call it. Here's some news. Legend right there. Here's some news, guys. Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas Is You" is amazingly, stunningly, the number six song on this week's Billboard Top 100 in 2018. That's crazy. The most underrated holiday song is what? What's up, Mariah? Daydream, butterfly. Who you guys got? Uh, I gotta think of one. I'll right. go first. Um, there's nothing I want more in life sometimes than this song. I okay, come on, Tricks. I mean, I just it well, speaks, talk about it. it speaks to so much. All is holy, all is bright. I mean, all it's all is clear. Silent freaking <laughs> night. Can I get one? That's what you want in your home. Can I get one? Oh, got it. Just give me. The answer is no. He's crying again. <laughs> I love you, Mel. Sometimes uh, she's also crying. I love you, Mel. I love you, Erica. <laughs> Silent night. There's, it's just layered with so much just context. Just go to bed. <laughs> All we want is a silent night. Silent it's night. a great book. It's called Go oh, to Bed man. with a different word in there. Yeah. Uh, Samuel? Yeah, yeah, yeah you might want to read it. It's good for the family. Um, I'll give it to you. I got it at the crib. Uh, all right. I'm going with this. I got to represent yeah. where I'm from. How about oh, Run DMC? Nate? Run DMC. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> it's Christmas time and Hollis Queens. Mama's cooking chicken and collard greens. Collard greens. That's such where a you're good from, song. Hollis Queens. What you know about collard greens? What you know about collard greens? What you talking about, baby? Hey, I'm going with this. The lyrics are just so good. Man, my mm -hmm. name is DNC with the mic in my hand. Mm -hmm. I'm chilling and cooling <laughs> just like a snowman. It's just bars.
Just Christmas, Christmas bars. He rhymes Christmas trees with mac and cheese. Yes, man. <laughs> and in, in, in Die Hard, John McClane goes, can we get some Christmas music? And Argyle goes, this is Christmas music. <laughs> and he turns it up. It was Christmas fun and fun. Argyle was such a good... I mean, what a great throw character. Throw heavy hands, too, on Argyle. And knocks no, out the guy with one punch. Again. But let me bring it Die home. Die Hard. What do you Christmas got? movie? Don't care. Who cares? <laughs> Shut up. That's my answer. Um, Peter wants a silent night. This is what we're all getting, though. Yes. This, this does it for me. It's the first song I play every single year. Neil Diamond Drummer Boy. Okay. okay. Talk about you, it. You have not Talk lived until you heard Neil Diamond do it's some good. onomatopoeia. Rapapom pom. <laughs> Rapapom pom. And then he segues into Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and he kind of sidebars like he's got a little drink or something. Yeah. And, he, and when they're not letting Rudolph play, he's like, come on, guys, just because he's a little different. Let Rudolph oh, play. Got, like, oh, he's got like David Lee Roth. Yes, he's got talking. <laughs> but when he does the Rapapom pom, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Right when you hear that. Yeah, I mean, Collar greens in, in, in Hollis is great. Yeah, yeah. But an old man with the silver wings and everything. <laughs> rump -pum 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 -pum. Blue jeans. Me and my drum. Because we all, we all want a little rump -a pum pum That's, That's all it. we want. It's better than a diamond. I, That's I, it. I, just a little. I'll just take the rum. Nah, it's, all, it's all it takes. Oh, man. I don't mind You don't see a lot of it anymore, especially from can diamond. I, can I just yeah. hear it one more time? Yeah. rump -a pum pum me and my drum. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It. I love yeah. you, Neil. It's a lot of Same birthday. Yeah. Rump -a -pump. Great whiteboard Wednesday. Gentle silent night, huh? I love it. All you want. Instead you got the drummer.